Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is lesson 467. The lesson today is the difference between it is up to you and suit yourself. This is one that students often ask about uh, that they have trouble distinguishing between. Okay, anyway, if somebody wants a screenshot, take it right now. All right, let's get right to it. Many ESL students uh, often feel these two phrases mean the same thing. Um, but there are some clear differences in meaning and use. Okay, let's go over it. If something is up to someone, it means it is their responsibility to make a decision or choice. Yeah, so it's up to you. The focus is really on choice. It's a decision. Somebody must make a decision. Okay, in this situation, the speaker is saying that he or she cannot or will not make the decision for this person. Okay, let's continue. Sometimes it is said in a way that shows the speaker does not care, and either way is okay. So like, yeah, well, it doesn't matter to me. It's up to you. Kind of like that. Um, thus, he or she will go with your decision. It could also mean that the situation is serious or important enough that this particular situation should, should be the one... Uh, that that person should be the one to make that decision. Basically, that's what we mean. Maybe it's almost too important for me to make this decision. You should be making that decision. All right, let's continue. When one says, suit yourself, he or she is telling the person to do the thing you would like the most, or what is most suitable, or what is most convenient or beneficial uh, to yourself. Sometimes suit yourself is also used to show somebody is doing an improper or annoying thing, but you still say, well, yeah, okay, but if that's what you want, suit yourself. All right, so let's give several examples. We got seven examples here to kind of cover both of these ideas. Here's the first one. In this situation, I cannot tell you what to do. It's up to you. You must make this decision on your own. I don't know, maybe a woman saying, should I divorce? Should I leave my husband? Or should we break up? Or whatever it is. Should I end my career? Uh, I don't know. But in this case, this is one where the, the other person's probably thinking it's too important. I can't really make this decision for you. And maybe you shouldn't, because if you did make the decision and later on she regretted, she'd probably blame you. So this is one where the person really should make the decision on their own. All right, let's look at number two here. Uh, all right, two is a, an A-B part. And the A part says, uh, should we eat Italian or Thai? You know, going out to a restaurant. And B says, it's up to you. Uh, I'm okay either way. Kind of like, I don't care. Okay. Uh, you choose. Doesn't matter. I'm fine with both. Yeah. Or number three, also an A-B part. Uh, should I wear the red one or green one? Uh, it's up to you. I think they're both fine. You know, they're both okay. So, um, I don't really see a big difference between them, so you should decide. Okay. Uh, all right, number four here. I would uh, remove that line from your speech. But if you like it, suit yourself. Like, you know, if this was me, I would take it out. But if you think it's good, if you think it's important, well, suit yourself. You do what you want. You do what you think is best. All right, um, number five here. I don't think that shirt and tie go together, uh, go together well. But if you like it, suit yourself. Like, I, I don't think they really match, but you know, if you think it's cool and you wanna wear it, well, go ahead and do it. And you know, it's not my clothes, you suit yourself. Okay, and all right, number six here. If you feel that way, I am not coming to your wedding. And B says, suit yourself. You know, this is one where they're probably angry. Uh, maybe somebody said something and they say, well, do what you want. Suit yourself. Go ahead. You're going to act that way. Uh, you're going to stay that angry like that. Uh, suit yourself. Do whatever you want. So in this sense, they're kind of annoyed or angry. Uh, so it could go both ways. It would suit yourself. Sometimes it's, you know, just used to mean, you know, eh, do whatever you want. Or sometimes it's also used, like like I said, where, you know, maybe you don't think the person's making the right decision, but you're saying, well, it's still your freedom to, 
to do whatever you want. Okay, and number seven here. In order to make life easier, you should set up a schedule to suit yourself. Well, this is just normal one, you know, just to basically do whatever is most suitable for you. This is definitely not particularly about a decision. You're just giving somebody the advice. Okay, anyway, um, I hope, again, all these examples in this explanation gave you a better feel of, you know, when you should be use one and when you should the, use the other and when you feel that they're most suitable. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.